What happens if you take all the female superheroes of the DC universe, put them in a Mad Max kind of a world, and give them motorcycles where they can be a motorcycle gang battling against evil? I just pitched the greatest story ever. Enjoy! Long ago, the world was a different place. Heroes took to the skies, carving out paths of hope, and the villains cowered in the darkness. However, there was a change, and with it came the Luther Uprising. Now, there is only one city on the earth that people know. It is called the Garden. Here, everyone is happy. There is no crime. People lead a life full of smiles and contentment under the love that is Lex. Except for one girl. Kara Gordon. Even though Lex has created a paradise on Earth with no sickness, no bad thoughts, or even pain, Kara has always felt different. One day while on her way to work, she overheard some of the Bat officers shouting that they have a malfunctioning citizen, and that their only method of correcting them was to terminate them. Before the officers could do anything, she runs up telling them to wait. She is a ride-along technician, just give her a moment. After scanning the boy's programming in his brain, she says that it seems to be that there's a glitch that she can take care of. With a few tweaks, the boy perks up and he runs up shouting, Lex loves you! However, the bad officers are not pleased. Later, as Kara goes home, her father Jim Gordon says they know. And Kara asks what he's talking about. It's kind of scaring her. Jim tells her that's good. It just might keep her alive. However, the gardeners, when she helped that boy, they saw her. As Jim talks, his voice cuts in and out as if something is stopping his speech. He tells Kara that when he found her, she was weak and vulnerable. He just wanted to keep her secret. She shouts that she is his daughter. And Jim says he knows, but she must run. He is here. Just then a shadow appears in the window and Batman breaks through the window, knocking Jim away. Jim shouts to Kara that she must go escape to the sun. And with that, Kara ran. She made her way outside and she sees an officer on a hover disc and she knocks him off to steal it. Batman gives chase, but as Kara reaches the end of the dome, she finds two robots keeping watch. She opens up her command prompt and hacks into the guards, making them fire into the dome, shattering it. With Batman and the others getting close, she runs off of the building and jumps through the opening, preparing to fall. But instead... She flies. However, not long after her flight, a missile is fired and it explodes, knocking her out of the sky. She crashes back to the ground and the bat officers make their way out, but as the officers point their guns, there's a faint rumbling. And that's when she sees them. The Silver Banshee, Big Barda, Harley Quinn, and Catwoman. The four women ride up on their motorcycles and Kara sees something that she hasn't seen in a long time. Hope. Barda tells the other girls that this girl needs their help, and she crashes her bike into a group of officers as she jumps off. While Barda gets to work bashing the other officers with her mega rod, Catwoman and Banshee provide cover fire for her. One of the officers manages to get close to Kara, but before he can grab her, Harley cracks a whip around his neck and flings him away. Kara gets up seeing one of the mechanical arms in the ground and grabs it, beating another officer. She says that she appreciates the assist, but she didn't ask for a rescue. Harley speeds back around, telling her, well, that might be true, but I'm pretty sure no one would pass up a free ride. As Kara gets in the back of the bike. Harley says that her name is Harley Quinn, and Kara says, Harley Quinn Zell? Harley says that she's never heard that name, but she sounds like a real piece of garbage. Lucky for them, though, she's a nice girl who never gets in trouble! And then she laughs hysterically as they ride off. Barda says that she saw the breach signal and came. Any enemy of the garden is a potential ally, and their trust doesn't come free. So who is she? Kara says that her name is Kara Gordon, and Barda radios back to run the name. She then asks, so where are we going? And Harley says this place is the freescape, the wasteland. Ruins of the earth and where we're going is the very worst spot. A little while later, the girls pull up at a large hangar with the name Gotham City Garage on it. A figure steps out stating, welcome to the garbage new blood. Natasha Irons points a gun at Kara and says, now you can leave. Marta asks, what is this about? And Natasha says that this garbage is at stake. That's Jim Gordon's daughter, princess to the Lexus. We got played. Kara says, wait, nobody played you. They were trying to kill me. And Barda asks, what are you then? Kara thinks for a moment and then shouts that she doesn't know, but the things that she does know is that she's been here looking for freedom under every sewer grate, in the pages of every contraband comic that she can get her hands on. Her father broke the rules to save her life, and now Lex and the Bat want her dead. She also flew, so if they want to leave her to die, that's fine, but if they kill her, then they will be the ones working for Lex. Barda whispers, stating that if she was telling the truth, she could be an ally, and Natasha whispers back, stating that she's lying. This could be the end of everything. After a few moments, Natasha throws her shotgun over her shoulder, stating, fine, if it's one thing that we respect at the garage, it's freedom. Tomorrow, you're on your own, but tonight, you're welcome. Everyone walks in, and Natasha jumps onto the bar top to give a toast to Gotham, and everyone in the bar shouts back, to Gotham. While everyone in the bar drinks, Barda tells Kara that their fight here is just the beginning. There will be 
a war to take down the walls of the garden to free the poor and the blind. But that war will be brought to her home, to her father, to those like him. Kara tells her that she doesn't know anything about her father. He didn't teach her to run, he taught her to fight. Barda places her hand on Kara's shoulder and then says that it's all well and good, but first she must decide what is she fighting for. As the moon lights up the bar, Kara sits back thinking about that question, and then she sees the S symbol. She's figured it out. She grabs a spray can, marking the same symbol onto the back of her jacket, and she says that she is fighting for hope. Meanwhile, Back in the garden, Batman sits with Jim, telling him, You malfunctioned in the aid of Kara's escape. Jim tells him no. For once in his miserable life, he functioned right. And Batman asks, Does Barbara know? And Jim quietly says, No, she has no idea. He changed her too. Batman then says, For what it's worth, I'm glad I only have to kill one Gordon tonight. Lex loves you. And with a quick snap, Batman throws Jim's body to the ground. Some time passes, and one day in the shop, Barda tells him Natasha that she's not ready. Natasha says that she's not asking, and as Kara shouts that she knows, she's got to be smoother on the clutch. Barda says, like I said, not ready. Natasha explains that she's going to be staying at her barn. Then she's going to be pulling her weight. End of story. Barda finishes up her work and says that she isn't taking her out. She'll needlessly endanger the job. Kara jumps into the conversation stating, oh, there's a job? Where are we going? Natasha pulls out a map of the land and says that there's a truck moving parts from the garden refinery. Scrap that we need to keep on riding. The truck will be east of Clay Valley and will pass through the dead zone where the Lexes will be out of contact. Kara shouts, so it's a heist. We're doing a heist. And Barda tells her that she better wipe that smile off of her face before the road does it for her. Later, as Kara, Barda, and Banshee ride out, Kara says that she has a question. When is she ever going to meet Wonder Woman? Banshee scoffs and says that Wonder Woman is a myth, and Kara sighs, saying, oh. Just then, Barda spots the Lex truck, and the girls all get ready and into position. However, as they get closer, they see their competition, the Red Hood Motorcycle Club. Kara speeds up to the truck and jumps on, and then pulls the driver out, telling him that she's really sorry about this. And while she gains control of the truck, Barda and Banshee ride headfirst into the Red Hood Motorcycle Club. While the two take out the riders, Barda Barda sees that a few are already boarding the truck and one is making his way to the cab. Before Car has a chance to react, she is punched in the face and through her struggle, she kicks the back of the window out. Barda spins back around, riding back towards the truck and once she gets close enough, she leaps onto the back of it. As she lands, her mega rod changes into the form of a club and Jason Todd himself points a gun at her, telling her, nice jump, but the Red Hoods don't share. Barda charges forward, but as Jason jumps back, he says, you're pretty quick for a big girl, but I've got a suspicion that the one driving isn't. Jason fires into the cab and Kara jumps out and at the last moment, Barda grabs her. Another Red Hood rides up to the truck where Barda is hanging off of and as he points his gun, Barda jumps up, kicking him. As the man falls off, Barda takes control of the bike and then hurries back to the truck. Banshee says they're heading east and Barda says they're assuming that we won't follow. So Kara asks what's east? And Barda tells her you're about to find out. So do exactly as I say or I cannot guarantee your survival. Up ahead, Jason takes the truck and drives straight into Clay Valley. Barda explains that once long ago there was a man who had lost everything that had come to this valley. He was a famous man, but the world had changed and he had changed too. Tendrils begin to form out of the clay around, and Barda said, Welcome to the canyons of clay. Kara asks, What? So this place is alive? And Banshee tells her, No, this place is death. Just then, the clay shoots into the sky, knocking the truck away, creating a wall behind it. Banshee takes out her shotgun and fires into the wall, creating an opening. But before she can ride through it, one of the tendrils lashes out, grabbing her. Kara shouts that they need to go back, and Barda holds out the mega rod as it begins to shine. The rod begins to transform into a motorcycle, and as Barda hops over to it, she turns back around for Banshee. Kara hurries up ahead to see the truck over turn and Jason reaches out to get some of the spilled contents. He says, okay, Clayface, looks like I can't stop you from taking the toys, but I sure as hell am going to get to play with them first. Kara stops before Jason asking, what is that? And he tells her, the Gotham City Garage fights are over parts. The Red Hood Motorcycle Club only fights for one thing, weapons. Jason hits the switch on the device and then the words, solar detonation in five can be heard. Kara runs over knocking Jason away and she grabs the device as the countdown continues to go. Clayface looms over ready to swallow Kara and as the detonation reaches zero, a massive massive explosion goes off, blasting Clayface away. The light from the blast can be seen across the land, and seconds later, the smoke begins to settle. Jason gets up asking Kara, what are you? She turns back, telling him that she's super, and he is a suicidal idiot. Jason tells her, touche, and Kara says that the rig now belongs to the CGC. Now get the hell out of here. Jason speeds off, and Kara goes back to the truck and begins to lift it up, waving to Barda and Banshee. As the girls ride back with their prize, Barda thinks that this one is stronger, perhaps strong enough to learn, and as the three pull along the truck, there is someone else watching. And there you have it, another digital series which comes out very similar to Injustice. Now, we will be bringing you a video on Gotham City Garage, provided you guys enjoyed this video, every four weeks like we do with Injustice. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to see the next Gotham City Garage. Over here, you'll find a DC Rebirth link right around here, something recommended by YouTube, and I will see you next time right here at Comic Storian.